What's up, guys? Welcome to MD TV Canes All Canes All Day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. Jalen Knight and Elijah Roberts, two former Miami Hurricanes that have entered the transfer portal, will leave the transfer portal and go down with Rhett Lashley, former offensive coordinator Rhett Lashley at SMU, and they will play at that program. My instant reaction to that is this is a good get for SMU. This is good for Jalen Knighton, for Elijah Roberts. My biggest beef with the transfer portal is some kids think just because they got Power 5 offers, they got to be in the Power 5. They got to be at a big school. Too good for D2. They're too good for FCS. They're too good for the G5 level. But no, Jalen Knighton and Elijah Roberts, I think, can do good things at SMU. Um, here at Miami, it didn't work out. Let's talk about him. So if you're an SMU fan, this is the part of the video you really want to listen to because I'm going to tell you the type of player you're going to get. Elijah Roberts is a kid that never got his footing at Miami. He was always behind other defensive linemen. So it's hard for me to give a good evaluation on him and tell you what type of player you're going to get. You're going to get a, um, a guy who he has size. And I really think at the G5 level, he can see the field because he did push for playing time. He just never got a lot of playing time. You know, he just got in at spots. So, so he entered the transfer portal and now he's, he'll be playing for SMU. Jalen Knighton is the guy who I think a lot of SMU fans will fall in love with. Through the recruitment of Jalen Knighton, he was always my, one of my favorite players at Miami. The pros with Jalen Knighton is... He's fast. He's elusive. He um, he can be explosive at times. The negatives with Jalen Knight is he has fumble problems and he's dealt with injuries and he could work on his balance a little bit better. And by that, I mean, there was a lot of times where Rooster was one guy away from taking a play to the house, but it seems like he always tripped up um, or something like that. When you look at Rooster stats, he had 11 touchdowns under Red Lashley. This year, Miami brought in Josh Gaddis. He only has one touchdown. Now, you can look at that and say it was because of the offensive coordinator change. Me, who watched every game of the Miami Hurricanes, who's probably watched the seasons twice now, Jalen Knighton was just careless with the ball. This season, he just seemed to step slow. I don't know if it was because he was learning a new offense. I don't know what it was, but this season, he just felt a step slow. You want to look at the best type of rooster you're going to get. Go check out that Georgia Tech game where he had a mobile quarterback. Uh, Miami started Ja'Curry Brown at quarterback, who was a mobile quarterback. So when they did the RPO, it took attention off of Jalen Knighton because of the threat with Brown. And when you're able to do that with Jalen Knighton and you blink your eye, blink, blink, he could be gone. He could be gone. At the G5 level, I believe he's going to do uh, really good things. Um, like I said, our starting quarterback, Tyler Van Dyke, when we did RPOs with him, nobody ever thought he was going to keep the ball. So the focus stayed on the running back. When you put a mobile quarterback next to Rooster, that is the that is when you're going to get the best Jalen Knight. And with Rhett Lashley already being familiar with Rooster, I think it's a good match. I think it's a good pickup, and I think they will do good things. I will. I will. Anytime SMU's on the field, on TV, and I'm not doing anything for this channel or for the Miami Hurricanes, I will be rooting for Rooster. I wish him and Elijah Roberts nothing but the best. Shout out to Coach Lashley. You know, we had some good times. We had some bad times. We had some fun times. But, hey, Elijah Roberts, Jalen Knighton, they're at SMU. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Peace.